Dr. Richard Buckley and team at Milford MD. Today's project is LiPo360, also known as circumferential LiPo, LiPo being liposuction, not just liposuction, but also sculpting. We're interested in creating contours. Contours, that is the creation of them, is much more than just sucking out some fat willy-nilly. We have to take the fat out in specific areas. And so we always do some pictures and figure out with our patient what they don't like. And then I do some drawings, just sort of uh, giving me a little bit of an idea of the lay of the land. There's more fat, for example, here than up here. And I need to know those differences. And I put in a different amount of numbing solution, depending upon how much fat, more fat, more numbing solution. Our patient's awake. You awake? You can grunt. Yeah, I'm awake. Awake. And, um, you know, with almost all of these, we certainly keep things private so you don't know our patient's name or anything about them, except that they're willing to share their experience with you, which is nice because then hopefully you, you learn some things or at least are entertained. So sometimes we, you know, if skin is really, really young and doesn't need any tightening, then maybe we simply do laser with simply do lipo sculpting without a tightening device. If we want tightening, then maybe we use a laser. For example, we have seven lipo lasers, one of the smart lipo triplex laser. We also have pro lipo laser. And the lasering, if we use that, melts fat, kills the fat cells actually, and it gives a tightening treatment. And then of course we suck all of that out in any case and in every case, we're always doing some suctioning. Today, we're doing um, Vaser, as we did yesterday. If you watched uh, yesterday's video, uh, you would see we're Vasering. If you listen, I believe you'll be able to hear that very, very high-pitched sound. That is ultrasound. And that ultrasound is bouncing the fat cells, the adipocytes. In fact, you can see them starting just to drain out my little port here. I put this little port in just to um, make a nice conduit between the outer part of uh, the patient and the, and the inner part. And it's a sleeve for this device and it also helps protect the skin from any heat that the device might generate. So we're melting fat and we are tightening the tissues. The fat, we're not actually melting fat. With, with laser, yes. With this, we are bouncing the fat cells off of where they're adherent to. And they're still alive. So if we wanted to collect them and put them back in the body somewhere else, like in the breast or the butt or wherever, then they would uh, take as a graft, that would be a fat graft, the polygus fat graft, fat transfer, all those being the same things. So my staff is tracking time. I have particular energies that I'm using. I'm using a, a three ring probe right now at a 70% and in a pulsed mode. And I can just feel this fat getting dislodged under my hand. It's, it's all just going to come flying out in a minute when we get to the suctioning part. So then we're going to move on and do the waist, and then we'll turn over and do the hips in the back. So circumferential lipo 360. We can lipo anywhere on the body. We do ankles, known as cankles, yeah, sometimes, the calves, sometimes, inner knees in women, all the time, guys, never knees. Um, thighs, inner, outer, fronts, yeah, sure, all the time. Um, yesterday we did the nape of the neck, so the uppermost back, and obviously, you know, the waddle in the neck and jowls, and yeah, so anywhere there's uh, fat that's bothersome, upper arms, inner and outer aspects of the elbows, you know, we can get at the fat with our tiny little tools, and a weight comfortable patient who's just absolutely fine to go home immediately after the procedure. You're watching lipo sculpting in a minute, it'll come. Um, and first, vaser, and with just local numbing, no general anesthesia, no need to go to the hospital. And by the way, our facility is a nationally accredited AAAHC facility, which most facilities, outpatient facilities, ambulatory surgical facilities, as we are, most are not yet accredited. They don't have to be, but 
but it's much better if you, if you go to an accredited place. Thank you for watching another episode of Milford Indeed.